what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today on this turkey day i want to go ahead and talk about some call of duty cold war specifically there is something wrong with this game and i don't think a patch is going to be able to fix it however before i even get into any of that please do me that favor like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the bell for notifications in the background i have some call of duty gameplay so definitely check that out and do enjoy that as we discuss the topic of discussion today that being said let's go ahead and jump into it my man Ant and i have been playing cold war we've been playing both core and hardcore game modes. We've played Kill Confirmed, we've played Team Deathmatch, we've played Domination, we've played VIP Escort, and a little bit of free for all. Listen, there is something wrong with this game. It is fundamentally broken in its current state, and I fear that it won't be fixed, and I'll be unfortunately on Warzone for another year. When I say unfortunately, it's not unfortunately for me. I love Warzone. Warzone is outstanding, and I have no problems playing it, but I really wanted this game to be good in all avenues but currently it is definitely not in the position that it should be in first off the skill-based matchmaking we aren't going to beat a dead horse on this one though everyone knows that it plays a heavy part when it comes to the matchmaking when it comes to the multiplayer and that is just straight trash like it is terrible and it makes the game so much worse i don't know what the devs are doing i don't understand what they're doing i don't even honestly think that they care at this point but i digress it isn't really going to change anytime soon so we might as well just go ahead and suck it up buttercup because that is what we have hopefully with the newly discovered competitive regulations concerning league or rank play whatever it's going to be it'll get a little bit better but until then ggs to my true virgins out there on cod because you guys got it like you guys are just going to keep dominating and hey we can do nothing to stop you so go ahead and have your fun now because eventually it ain't gonna be that way moving on core is okay it's literally just okay and barely playable in my opinion i'm good for maybe an hour max after that the toxicity gets to me and i have to play something else when it comes to hardcore and you already know if you've been on this channel a while you know i like to play my hardcore mode but this year hardcore mode is the worst thing that i have ever played it is really really bad Every Every weapon is a one-shot kill. Doesn't matter the range or the placement on the body. If they see you, you're a dead duck. Majority of the time, you'll be dead even before you even think to pull the trigger. There are no gunfight or skill involved in playing the game mode. It's literally whoever sees the other person first. That is how that is. That's how it's going to be. And with this game, the sight lines are so bad. It makes the game just terrible. You can't play hardcore. It's literally at this point, it's it's got to be like unplayable at this point it's really really bad definitely if you find yourself going up against a team of six people you're pretty much done you might as well go ahead and just back out right there and save yourself the time speaking of the sight lines i want to jump back to that cold war has some of the worst sight lines i have ever seen there are way too many areas where it's possible to head glitch or be virtually invisible too many times i've gotten murdered by the guy across the map chill that appears to be a speck on the screen or all I see is his head the very tip top of his head unfortunately this year all of the operators look the same and blend into the background of the maps making them even harder to see at first I thought I was blind but I started speaking to people and it's no no it's not me a lot of other people are having issues here you just can't see them as well as in other games for some apparent reason everyone out there is saying how Russian is back where because I run into the campiest people all the time. Every corner or head glitching or somewhere where I can't really get a good look at them to get some good shots at them. I'm not saying obviously run out there and uh, you know out in the open so I can kill you. No, 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 no. I'm talking about these people aren't moving. They're just 
just head glitching, posted up, chilling, and just waiting to kill you. It, it's just terrible. The sight lines are really, really terrible this time around. Plain and simple. Obviously, we all know that the maps are trash. We already know we came out with eight maps. We up to nine now, including Newtown. And it just feels like these maps honestly weren't really built for the game. Some maps are too big, some maps are too small, and some are just literally a waste of time. Crossroads could have actually been fun, but because of the spawn and the size of it, it isn't really that good. Back to sight lines real quick. On these maps, you can overlook objectives. You can overlook spawns. How is that a thing? Like, how can I look at someone's spawn, aim my gun at that spawn, and people will run out, people will spawn behind a barrel where they have to run into my sight line? It's ridiculous. Like, it's crazy. How am I supposed to win when this is in the game? Like, when these are the tactics that are here. For these reasons, when it comes to this game, I really feel like it wasn't finished. I feel like they rushed it out because of the next gen console and that need to get like a foothold in when it comes to the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, which I don't understand why, because there's nothing else out. Like there is no other Call of Duty out there. So I don't really understand what exactly their goal here was. They should have pushed it off maybe another six months or maybe even a year just to polish and make this game really, really right. There are some good things, but it's not many. Like I'm trying to tell you, I feel like they just rushed this and they really should go back and actually try to fix this. Maybe maybe hit it with the WW2 treatment and just go ahead and, and revamp this whole thing and a mega patch come out and it turns out it's actually really good like WW2 did. I think that would work here. That would be outstanding because in its current state, it's literally like one step forward and two steps back when it comes to the series. There's not a lot of content. There's a lot of issues that I've been bringing up and it's just like I said, it just doesn't feel like a finished game in my opinion. Furthermore, Nuketown did actually come out adding another map to the rotation and it's exactly how every other Nuketown was when it came out. The match will either go two ways. You'll either catch the beat down along with your teammates because you'll run into a team of six people on the opposite team who's gonna demolish you, or you'll end up sitting up and playing like your life depended on it in your chair and probably barely get the win. Either way, it isn't fun, Treyarch. I want to like this game. I want to be able to get on here and play for hours at a time like I do when I play Warzone, but right now it's not happening. It, it's not fun. It's not at that place where I can jump on and play for a long period of time. You gotta play it in doses and it shouldn't be that way at this point in the series. Moving on, the leveling system is so slow. Why? Why is it so slow? Definitely when it comes to gun leveling. They recently had a double XP event, and when I was playing a game, honestly, I didn't even know that the double XP was on. I had to hit the internet and actually confirm that the event was still ongoing, and I was getting double XP. And I actually wasn't the only one. A lot of people felt like it wasn't even really that big of a deal. The double XP wasn't even a thing. But overall, Overall, I will say I do like the prestige system. I do like what they put in place. You don't lose everything and starting from square one. I like that. It gives you something to grind for and I appreciate that. And I'm, I'm looking forward to December 10th because I wanna see what they're gonna bring to the table and how it's gonna be integrated with the war zone. So I'm looking forward to that. So I don't really have much to say when it comes to that. Furthermore, the guns themselves feel a little bit off or at least a little bit inconsistent to me. The shotguns are beastly even after a nerf came to them, they will put you to sleep before you can even do anything. There's a clear issue with the weapons in the game and how they are used in conjunction with the maps or, or the way the players play maybe. I, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's not good Treyarch. Y'all really should get together and fix this foolery. On a positive note, zombies and the campaign are dynamite. They are scary good, well worth it. But other than that, honestly, otherwise, it's hard to accept this game in its current state. And I'm really leaning towards another year of Warzone at this point, but I will say that you guys need to check out the campaign and definitely the zombies mode because it is on point. I only play a little bit of it and I only play it recreationally, you know, every now and again, but from what I've seen, it's really, really good. There's been a lot of videos surrounding the game in its current state. The pros don't even like the game. They're getting beasted. You already know that it's a problem when the pros are hating a Call of Duty where the sniping is on point and they don't like it. Wow. Yeah, there's 
there's definitely something wrong with the game and they should really get on top of it. But on that, that's about it for me. Just wanted to get on here and converse with you all concerning the current state of the game. Have you played the game? Do you like the game? Is it just me? Let me hear it down in the comment section below. I am finally done with the transition to my PlayStation 5. Everything is set up and ready to go. So I got a few new things coming to the channel. So definitely look out for that. Warzone and Call of Duty will always be on the channel. However, I got a few series that I do want to play and a few games that I want to play and bring to the channel in conjunction with them. So definitely be on the lookout for that moving forward. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Please do me that favor and like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the bell for the notifications. I appreciate you all and I'll definitely see you on the next one.